Modern systems share the last level cache to improve performance. Unfortunately, this can also allow an application to infer the access pattern of a core running application by causing conflicts. For example, the spy can insert lines A and B in the cache. The victim accesses X, which kicks out B. The spy can use timing test to infer that B gets a cache miss, which means the victim must have accessed the given set. Such conflict-based attacks have been shown to infer secrets such as keys for AES and RSA. Prior solutions for mitigating conflict-based cache attack fall in two categories. First, way partitioning. Give a few ways to each of the cores. Unfortunately, this results in inefficient use of cache space. Second, table-based randomization, where the line to cache mapping is decided randomly and this mapping is stored in a mapping table. Unfortunately for an LLC, this mapping table becomes quite large, several megabytes. And now the mapping table can be attacked. And that's why some OS support is required to classify the applications into protected and unprotected categories, and only the protected applications are allowed to have access to the mapping table. We don't want any OS support. We don't want large tables. Our solution avoids both and instead uses encryption for randomization. Our solution, Caesar, takes the line address, encrypts it, and accesses the cache with the encrypted address. Lines that were previously going to the same set now get scattered throughout the cache. Given enough time, an attacker can still use timing attack to figure out the lines that map to the same set. Uh, and to avoid this, our solution periodically changes the keys of the encryptor which changes the line to cache mapping. Our solution can tolerate years of attack, has negligible slowdown and storage overhead, does not require newer support. The full talk is on Wednesday at 9 a.m.